In part one of the video on vitamin D, we spoke about why vitamin D is important. In the second part, let's look at strategies to increase vitamin D levels naturally. Because of our increasing work indoors and limited amount of time we spend outdoors, most of us are deficient in vitamin D. Increasing vitamin D levels naturally involves a combination of sensible sun exposure, dietary choices, and lifestyle factors. Now here are some effective ways to naturally boost your vitamin D levels. Firstly, through sunlight exposure. Spend time outdoors during peak sunlight hours as UVB rays from the sun stimulate vitamin D production in the skin. Aim for about 10 to 30 minutes of sun exposure on your face, arms and legs several times a week depending on your skin type, location and the season. Exposure to sunlight in the morning or late afternoon is often considered safer than during the intense midday sun to minimize the risk of sunburn. Now, individuals with darker skin may need more extended sun exposure as melanin reduces the skin's ability to produce vitamin D. Consider spending more time in the sun during peak hours if you fall into this category. Secondly, through dietary sources by including fish like fatty fish, salmon, mackerel and sardines in your diet. Now these are rich in vitamin D. Egg yolks are also a great source of vitamin D so consider incorporating eggs into your diet. Some mushrooms such as maitake and chanterelle contain vitamin D also. And these days you can also get foods fortified with vitamin D such as fortified dairy products like milk and yogurt, orange juice and certain cereals. But of course these are all packaged foods so make intelligent choices. Thirdly, maintain a healthy body weight. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and excess body fat can sequester vitamin D making it less available for use by the body. Maintaining a healthy weight can enhance vitamin D bioavailability in the body. Getting regular sun exposure during exercise by engaging in outdoor activities or exercises during sunlight hours can provide a dual benefit of physical activity and vitamin D production and finally including magnesium rich foods and healthy fats helps vitamin D absorption. Including magnesium rich foods such as nuts, seeds, whole grains and leafy green vegetables in your diet and adequate healthy fats such as those found in olive oil, coconut oil, avocados and nuts can support the absorption of vitamin D and other fat soluble vitamins. Now everything said and done. Remember, sometimes despite all this, supplementation with vitamin D may become necessary. Now, how to supplement with it and is it actually necessary? Taking vitamin D supplements can be crucial and beneficial, especially if you have difficulty getting enough sunlight exposure or obtaining sufficient vitamin D from your diet. So here are some guidelines on how and when to take vitamin D supplements. First, before starting any supplement regimen, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional. Now they can assess your individual needs, conduct tests to determine your vitamin D levels currently and provide personalized recommendation instead of standard ones that you can get off the net. The recommended daily allowance or RDA for vitamin D varies by age, sex and life stage. For adults, the general guideline is around 600 to 800 international units per day. However, individual requirements may differ, so your healthcare provider will recommend a specific dosage based on your health status. Next is the type of vitamin D supplements. Now, there are different forms of vitamin D supplements, including vitamin D2, which is also called ergocalciferol, and vitamin D3 called cholecalciferol. Vitamin D3 is more effective at raising blood levels of vitamin D and is often preferred. Next question that is commonly asked is when should I take vitamin D? Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin so it is best absorbed when taken with a meal that contains some amount of fat. Taking it for, with food can enhance absorption. Now try to take your vitamin D supplements at the same time each day to maintain consistent dosage in your blood. This also helps ensure that you meet your recommended daily dose consistently. Now, there is no strict rule about whether to take vitamin D in the morning or evening. So choose a time that fits well into your daily routine and is easy for you to remember. Now, 
there are certain medications such as some taken for epilepsy or seizures certain antifungal medications etc that do interact with or reduce the potency of the vitamin D supplement. So please inform your healthcare provider about any medications or health issues you have to ensure there are no contraindications for you to take this particular supplement. Consistently taking high doses of vitamin D can lead to toxicity or hypervitaminosis. So it is very important to stick to dosages prescribed by your physician. We see a lot of people taking these supplements without medical supervision or guidance. We do recommend that you periodically monitor your vitamin D levels through blood tests as recommended by your healthcare provider. Now this will ensure that you're maintaining appropriate levels without the risk of toxicity. Even if you are taking vitamin D supplements, it's still beneficial to get some amount of sunlight exposure every day. Sunlight is a natural source of vitamin D and the body produces it when the skin is exposed to sunlight. Aim for about 10 to 30 minutes of sunlight exposure on your face, arms and legs a few times a week. Finally, don't forget the calcium. Vitamin D works in conjunction with calcium for bone health. If you're taking a vitamin D supplement, ensure that your calcium intake is also sufficient through dietary sources or supplements if needed. Remember, individual needs for vitamin D may vary and it's crucial to follow your healthcare provider's recommendations. They can tailor the dosage based on factors such as your age, overall health and specific vitamin deficiencies.